What's up everybody, welcome back. My name is Josh and today we're talking about making your money work for you outside of your normal high yield interest savings account using Weeble. The thing is, is that we're not actually buying stock or at least I didn't buy stock. So today we're gonna to talk about the why, what I did, the numbers I ran and the lessons I learned from it. But before we even get started, I do have to say, because this is a little different and unconventional way of making your money work for you, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just something that I did because I'm trying to get creative with the money that's just sitting around. So in my last video, I talked about earning free stock through Robinhood and their referral program using an AdWords campaign as well. Now I did talk about looking at a couple different brokerages is because I already use Vanguard, but I did end up downloading Weeble too and decided it wasn't for that referral program AdWord campaign test. Now, with that said, I did end up getting a notification for a deposit tier promotion, which talks about, and I actually read, read through this, you can earn up to 60 free stocks when you deposit the required amount, not including deposits made prior to this promotion, into your Weeble brokerage account. Each stock is valued between $9 and $1,000. That's really important. They also talk about the actual different tiers too, so 25 free stocks with the asterisk next door is $25,000 to $99 thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and then it goes up from there 35 free stocks is 100k to 249,999 and then 60 free stocks at 250,000 plus dollars deposited into the Weevil account the very top tier it's important to keep in mind there because it did say valued between nine dollars and one thousand dollars every single stock right that's a perfect segue into why I actually did this why I deposited a certain amount of money into Weevil not to actually buy stock but to see what I could actually get on the free stock side one reason is that I have money that is sitting in a high yield interest savings account used for typically investing in my emergency fund or even putting money into the stock market. So if I actually ran the numbers, which I will walk through in a little bit, it made sense to deposit that money for just a month and a half to actually have a chance at earning more than what I would normally earn in interest. The second why is Essentially, there is no greater risk moving my money from the Ally bank account over to Weeble. Both are FDIC insured. I can get my money back. So I felt pretty comfortable with my money actually being okay for a month and a half. So let's actually get into the numbers because that's the really exciting and cool, I would say creative part about this. I do have to bring up the actual deposit tier promotion note. Remember we talked about the asterisks there, 25 stocks with the asterisks next to it. What that actually mean for net deposit equals deposit and transfer in amount during 12, 14, 2020 to 1, 13, 2021 minus the withdrawal and transfer amount during 12, 14, 2020 and 2, 12, 2021. That means you would have to decide when you were gonna put the money in, which I did. I, I ended up putting the money in on 12.30, so December 30th, just because the holidays transfers don't really speed up too much. It's not really a fast process. So I wanted to make sure I got it in between before that 1.13. And when I run the numbers and tell you about the interest at the end of the day, I, I was still gonna win. Minus the withdrawal and transfer amount on 2.12, which means you had to leave your money in there until February 12th. I waited until about February 13th or 14th before I actually withdrew my money. All that means is I had to leave my money in there from 12.30 to about 2.13. Let's, let's just call it two months so we can actually do the math on the interest there. That means that if I left my Ally Bank account, we all know about interest rates right now, I have a 0.5% interest APY. That means that I would have made $10.45. So let's just call it $20.91 because it's two months instead of the month and a half and I felt the most comfortable with the $25,000. That means by following that tier, that, that means that I'll be getting 25 free stocks at that $9 limit, right? So with that $9 limit and it's 25 stocks, let's actually do the math here. So $9, we're gonna do this on the low side, multiplied by 25 equals $225 in free stock. That's the low end right? That's the lowest side. And we already talked about the interest that I could be making. So let's just subtract that, right? Just to follow in here and actually round up too. So $20 and 91 cents. So not only paying back that interest, but on top of what I normally would have made is $204 and nine cents. I actually ended up doing pretty well and better than uh, what I was thinking on just the low end. So on 212, 213, I ended up having to claim, go in and actually claim the free stock that I got. And I ended up earning 15 shares of Ford, 
three shares of JetBlue, and then seven shares of Zynga. That amounted to about $320, give or take the actual capital gains in the short amount of time I had to wait because you do have to hold the stocks in transit before they actually settle and you can sell them. Which by doing the math, that's about 300-ish more dollars than I would have made by just leaving the $25,000 in the high yield interest savings account. And I was curious what was the actual math if I were to just leave it and what it would have taken to actually get that money. And it's about two years and a couple of months, four months worth of interest if I didn't put any more money into that savings account, which is just absolutely wild. So what was the big lesson, the big reminder for me? It was to remain open-minded and creative with the cash that I have laying around. Now that cash fund was for and is for real estate investing and putting money into the stock market when it finally dips again. But in all reality, it's just kind of sitting there in that high yield interest account. It is better than let's say leaving it in a Bank of America savings account at the 0.5 percent interest rate but it's still pretty low compared to the rest of the market where you could earn money which reminded me once i saw that net promotion what made sense it made sense to take that twenty five thousand dollars to evaluate how much risk was actually there and transferring that for a month and a half and by looking at the numbers alone and taking emotion out of it it just made sense for me now good reminders i'm not a financial advisor i already said in the beginning but i think it's really important that if you're moving money around that you're making the decision for you and you're not listening to people like me that's just on YouTube and I've just tried this, right? Now, I did make an extra $300 over what I would have made and it probably would have taken me two and a half years to actually get that if I just left that money in there. But I evaluated the risk there. I looked at the, the actual app itself and both were FDIC insured. It, just, it made a lot of sense. The risk was much lower than the actual reward. So I went ahead and did it. Now, there's a lot of sketchy ways to make money out there too. And my normal way of thinking is that if it's too good to be true, probably is. Now with all of that said, I'm saying stay creative and open-minded with my own money, but that's not just the cash. It's with the real estate and doing cash out refinances. It's getting into another property with an FHA loan. It's a lot of different ways. So it's not just getting creative with putting a certain amount of money into an app and getting free stock. There's a lot of other ways. And that's when I say, keep your mind open because you got to look at the stuff that is already out there, the classic ways of investing and building wealth, being the stock market and, and real estate being some of the most popular ones, that there are probably some really creative, open-minded ways that you haven't necessarily explored. And that is a good reminder, especially for me. Now, what I actually did with all that stuff when I was done with it. Now, the cash, the $25,100 went straight back into the Ally Bank account because I wasn't gonna leave it in Weeble. I did have to wait for the actual stock to settle and I did go back and forth on whether or not I wanted to keep primarily four because they did pay a dividend in my portfolio and transferred over to Vanguard. Eventually I decided that it, it wasn't worth it and I'd rather invest in some of the growth stocks and ETFs and mutual funds that I was already invested in. So I ended up selling the stocks once they actually settled in my account and transferred the money over to my Vanguard brokerage. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed the breakdown of my thought process on where I was actually gonna put a X amount of money and leave it in a savings account or actually move it around and try to make a little more, make my money work for me. If you've got any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and press like because that does actually shoot it out to everybody else. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you come back and subscribe and follow my financial journey to hopeful financial freedom. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you later.